First, the top news headlines. Three involved in firing incident near polling booth arrested. Congress candidate Bimola Koyjam condemns attacks against party polling agents, calls it unfortunate. Total water turnout in Kangpo be expected to fall below 30% due to empty polling stations. And Karthi relaxing in Pal E space and Kapal district till 10 pm. Pokakting district till 8 pm. Bistropo district till 5 pm today. A very good afternoon. You are watching LTV English News and this is Yale Matongra giving you the news in details. In a major breakdown, the Manipur police arrested three individuals in connection with the firing incident which transpired near a polling station in Imphalis district on April 19. One person was injured in the unprecedented episode it took place at Moiran Kampo Primary School amidst the first phase of the 2024 Lok Sabha polls. According to reports, 32 pistols with 8 live ammunition, 3 mobile phones, 1 car and case worth rupees 1.5 lakhs was seized from the three accused identified as Lake Chombam Jamson Singh, aged 34 years, Nong Thombam Ratan, aged 47 years, and Kumukjam Angamba, aged 30, 32 years. The electoral process in the conflict hit state was flooded with reports of firing, threatening, boot capturing, and destruction of EVMs at various booting booths. Manipur recorded a voters turnout of over 68%. Swift action by the state police and this matter saw Cass's commitment to maintenance of peace and security during electoral processes which holds significant importance in the country. In response to violence and intimidation targeting polling agents affiliated with the Congress party Angomcha Bimola Koyjam, the Congress candidate expressed deep concern over the unsettling turn of events in today's elections. A Koyjam condemned the unprecedented level of aggression and disruption that mere the electoral process leveling it as an aberration in the political annals of Manipur. Expressing his dismay, Akhoizam lamented the distressing scenes of chaos and fear witnessed during the polling activities. He highlighted the gravity of the situation, stating that such brazen acts of hostility pose a significant threat to the integrity of the electoral process and democratic principles. These attacks and threats against our polling agents are not just an assault on individuals but an affront to the very foundation of democracy, said Akhoizam. Earlier in the day, the Manipur unit of the Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, India, strongly denounced the widespread incidents of threats and intimidation that occurred at numerous polling stations across both inner and outer regions. In response, the unit has formally submitted a complaint to the Election Commission of India urging for a repoll to be conducted in 47 affected polling stations. Specifically, this include 36 polling stations within the inner, parla inner parliamentary constituency and 11 polling stations in the outer Manipur area. 
during a press conference held at Manipur Bhavan. Kaisam Amiga Chandra, representing the Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, provided detailed insights into the issues highlighted by the India bloke. He elaborated on the observation made regarding the electoral proceedings conducted today, emphasizing the necessity of addressing this concern through appropriate measures. Most of the polling station out of the 178 in Kangpupi district witness complete voters abstention during the first phase of Lok Sabha election today, April 19. The Kukizo community constituted the majority population in most polling station across the three assembly constituencies, 46 cycle, 50 Kangpupi and 51 Saitu, while a few stations have a presence of Nagas and Nepalese. The Manipur unit of the Indian National Development and Inclusive Alliance India strongly denounced the widespread incidents of threats and intimidation that occurred at numerous polling stations across the inner and outer regions. In response, the unit has formally submitted a complaint to the Election Commission of India urging for a re-poll to be conducted in 47 affected polling stations. Specifically, this include 36 polling stations within the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency and 11 polling stations in the Outer Manipur area. During a press conference held at Manipur Bhavan, Kaisam Omega Chandra, representing the Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, provided detailed insights into the issues highlighted by the India bloke. He elaborated on the observation made regarding the electoral proceedings conducted today, emphasizing the necessity of the addressing this concern through appropriate measures. One Saikom Virin from Kongjom John 4 has categorically clarified that what he told in media yesterday about the Arambai Tangle was totally wrong and unfounded. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club, Virin for the seat yesterday when he went to cast his vote at polling station number 5 by 11, Kongman John 4, some official told him that time for casting is already over. Misquoting what the official said, he falsely pointed his finger to Arambai Tengol and everything was done. The group. The said statement was what he had given to media was baseless and unfounded. He appealed to forgive his fools.
On the other hand, one Khoirom Ongvi Meda Devi has said that those who assaulted his brother Yumnam Santa and a Zen of ANC candidate Dr. Vimol allegedly involvement of Rambai Tengol. Speaking to media person at the residence of Dr. Vimol at Kesamtong Toplerak, Toplerak Machin, Sifada said the incident was very unfortunate and Apple not to repeat such act in future. ตัวเคยเป็นมาทําจิตได้ทุกการทําได้บ่เนี่ยไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ
Hawang tumba kai ge thong je mena phakai ra ge sanga ge hek da ingon da nong mai jin dang 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 je jum je ge phakchi ka phat pani adi ge makha da ju le ba ta su ka pe ai khong maya da du ga hek da mon ja changjal ga ta thau ji da mia la ge illa ge ai ji in thua pani ai na tai na noi tau ji ja de ma ni nu pa pu thorok ji ne ba ai ge nu pa de noi na phan ma ya de ha bin ma de phan dre ma de lai de sakre na ai na hai de adu adu hai na ma tung ge da hoi ni dang noi kai da ge ngu khol ba kai na ba koi da yam tu dang tau mai na chal lo chal lo na hai ga in tam ma tam na in thui adu bu Cik ini mana muda, ayah hijau ni berdi. Cik ini makah tarap pada lagi by organisasi imara pagi ima event. Cik ni angkang ini yang sangat sangat ini sangat ini aduga. Macam ini moyna, malam dah macam ini apa betul ni nak lagi buat moyna macam ini ayah ima mahu bagi masa ima mahu bagi ayah mesti mahu dalam bahasa kau ni kan dia pasal ini nongai jadi yang sangat sangat moy sangat nongai jadi aduga. Masa ini hari ini ni sangat sangat moy nak putoh piro aduk piro hari ini hari ini yang hari ini jumpa tele bagi kamera jadi nak sakit woi ni sedar woi nak ura ayi business putoh cakap aduk manggu ni tele bagi kamera jadi mungkin tu gay bila ni siapa nak gay hari ni lagi gay ni sangat sangat moy masa ada di si aku si ni hari betul di hari ram de President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, A. Sarda Devi, has strongly condemned the various incidents taking place in different polling booths yesterday. Speaking to media person at the office of the party at Nityai Patriotic, Sarda further said that incidents smear the bad image to the beautiful democracy. She also complained has been made to the easier demanding action according to law of the land. Besides, the party are sharing the bereaf and sorrow of whomsoever victim's family, she added. Kau ingat orang jaga kerja dah, nungai taba, kau ini thodok kerja tu, hari ber nungai taba thodok singa do, bateri zanta parti saya tegi esok apun jauh masing bu, ini ngai lagi na, tamu esok na, awak apa, seru ya, jadi loi na na, kau ini thodok asih buat thodok lipa si, kau ini bateri zanta parti na, sih mau thodok asih mau tunggu thodok tu na na ba, kau ini apil thodok jadi loi na na, thodok itu bukan na condemn tau i, hari ber sih mau bateri zanta parti ke, saya tegi tham jadi. Workers of Congress Party strongly condemned the late night casting of vote at Thongzhou Assembly constituency last night. The workers protested against the gate of polling station and shouted various slogans. <laughs> And now let's take a short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Sky Hospital, providing 24-7 heart attack center in Manipur. Don't delay. Call immediately if you're having symptoms of heart attack like sudden onset chest pain, breathlessness, pain in left arm, heaviness in chest, nausea, vomiting. Hurry, consult our internationally renowned UK-trained heart specialist, Dr. L. Shyam Kishore, chief cardiologist. Sky Hospital, having more than 30 years of experience. Also available services like device closure of hole in the heart, surgical closure of hole in the heart, coronary angioplasty and stents, heart valve surgery and CAPG pacemaker, ICD combo implant. For more details, please contact reception Sky Hospital. Sri Sri Gaurachandra Gicharanda, Purva Shramda Ikhoi Ki Irakta Tinbiramba Sri Huidrom Manau Yai Masing Hana, Ikhoi Kwai Pum Namak Putha Duk Lem Laga, Hau Ki Batang Tara Ni Thoi Tha Mari Ingli Singh Ani Ka Kun Ga Mari, Saji Bugi Mari Ni Paan Ba Irai Numitta, Sri Guru Ki Kri Pada Ki Vez O Laga, Noroton Daas Hai Ba Naam Fang Zaduna, Brindaban Prakti Oye Kri, Laak Li Batang Kun Ga Manga Tha Mari Ingli Singh Ani Ka Kun Ga Mari, Saji Bugi Tara Ni Thoi Ni Paan Ba Sogon Sen Numitta, Shra Da Din Thok Le, Numit Asi ดาลัยคิดว่าเกี่ยวกับอาตมาสันติกิตมักงำจับวัสดุขระดังฮารีสันกิตันกัลลุยเนน่าสรีกาวรัตน์จันทร์กิจจันทร์ดักกัจจก
gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Serin Educational Foundation Nagamapal Soram Lerak Jahit Tara Nithoi Hena Academic Education the Experience Lerak Laba Institution Asina Angang Singbu Lairik Ta Natana Overall Development to Focus Tauduna Matik Chaba Oza Kayana Foundation Level Digi Ningti Namakong Sombiri Regular Test Tauduna Angang Singi Week Point Kaya Kandokli Ven Service Amadi Boarding Ki Kudong Chaba Su Thamjari Ngasi Mak Leng Singbirak Tuna Session English Singaniga Kungamari Kungamanga Class 11 Namasung Class 12 Science Foundation course enroll to view class one to class ten for the CBSE Madhya Boston ki foundation course ki class so hozare. Hen akupamaro ki damak eight eight three seven four 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 zero eight nine the contact to view Nagamapal Soram Lerak. Manipur Gi Ahanba Dedicated Cancer Hospital, AOI Babina Specialty Hospital, the Medical Oncology, Surgical Oncology, Advanced Operation Theater Galoinana, Cancer Patient Sing, the Affordable Course, the Mapung Faraba Care, Pisari, Side Effect Hantaba, Manipur Gi Ahanba, Linic Halcyon Radiation Machine, Gi Kudong Chaba, Pambikani, Cancer Kandok Naba, Amazon Stays Lay, Pada Sizen Naba, Pet CT Scan Machine, so Hospital Asida Lady, Tumor Board Pamduna, Patient Singi Lying Patapta, Ahinba Kudong Chaba, Loinana, Health Card Ki Kudong Chaba, so Pisari, Mayam Gidamak, AOI. Welcome back and let's see the further details. Dr. Moirang Thim, the Navy Managing Director of Pile Cares and Research Institute, has been conferred the most coveted global tribute in the healthcare arena, the World Healthcare Conference and Awards 2024. The solemn function was held at Radiation Blue Hotel, Dwarka, New Delhi today. A dialogue and discussion on exploring new challenges for better hospital health care was also held. The award is conferred based on your achievement and contribution to the healthcare industry of the nation. The idea of true healthcare professional for hospitals who are compassionate and altruistic in their intention to improve the life of individuals and human welfare overall. This most awaited global platform is bringing eminent healthcare experts together from the health world to understand the health revolution, market dynamics, the impact of digital technologies on the masses, and the future of health and healthcare in India. Researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Rurke have made a remarkable discovery unveiling fossils of what is believed to be one of the largest snakes to have ever existed. Name Wasuki Indicus. This, this closal reptile is estimated to have roamed the earth some 47 million years ago during the Middle Eocene era. The findings published in the esteemed peer-reviewed journal Nature Scientific Reports set light on a unique lineage of snakes from India belonging to the now extinct Mes Mesoide snake family. Professor Sunil Bajpai and postdoctoral researcher Devjit Dutta lead the discovery, stumbling upon 27 pieces of a partial, well-preserved vertebral column of Vasuki indicus in the Penanthro lignite mine located in Kutch, Gujarat. Described as potentially measuring between 10 to 15 meters in length, comparable to the size of modern day school bus, Basuki and Discus possess a broad and cylindrical body indicative of a robust and powerful build. Much like contemporary pythons and anacondas, this ancient serpent is believed to have this pitch, it's very through suffocation. The significance of this discovery extends beyond the mere existence of Colossian snake. It offers insight into the evolutionary trajectory of metzoid species in varying climates, particularly during the high temperatures of the tropical climate prevalent at that time. Moreover, Vasuki Indicus 
existence is a testament to the vastly different geographical landscape of the Asian earth where India, Africa and South America were interconnected. In a statement, Dr. Bajpai emphasized the importance of preserving natural history and the role of research in unraveling the mysteries of our past. The discovery of Vasuki in this curse not only enriches our understanding of a ancient ecosystem in India, but also contributes significantly to the evolutionary history of snakes on the Indian subcontinent. Tragedy struck the election duties in Mizoram as Lairin Pua, 28, a personnel from the 2nd Battalion of the Indian Reserve Battalion stationed at Wangchia for the 2024 MP election duty, passed away in his sleep. Lairin Pua, a resident of Kualku village in Kausal district, was deployed at Wangchia Primary School for election duties. The unfortunate incident, uh, incident occurred at 5 a.m. This morning, when fellow polling official attempted to wake him only to discover him deceased in his bed, the sudden demise of Larin Pua has sent shock waves through the election administration and the local community alike. As per initial reports, there were no prior indications of any health issues or concern regarding Larin Pua's well being. Authorities are conducting investigations into the circumstances surrounding Larin Pua's untimely death with efforts underway to ascertain the cause of his sudden passing. In a tragic incident, Rajiv Lekharu, an assistant professor at Bipuria College Commerce Department in Assam's Lakhimpur district, was killed in a road accident. The incident occurred when Lakeru was returning from election duty for the first phase of polling in Assam. The accident site was near Dolahat, approximately 23 kilometers from Bipuria in Lakimpur. Here we have another short commercial break to stay tuned for more updates. Foreign chat pagi maru, adom malim ki fazara mama pam kaya sen ichang chang dena koi ma pambi bra. Pambi ra badi foreign koi ma ki maru yau biu. Koi bi gada mama pam sende Thailand, Dubai, Europe, Amazon package oina Thailand, Malaysia, Amadi, Singapore ni. Thailand da koi ma ki dabaak tha ge selun to pali sen mangam khatte ni tha tarani thoi khat kundi gada bani. Dubai ki oina tha ge lupali sen taruk masisu tha tarani thoi kundi gada bani. Thailand, Malaysia, Madi, Singapore package ki oina tha amada lupali sing tarit ka chamanga khundi gada bani masisu tha tara ni thoi khat khundi gada bani Europe ki oina di tha amagi lupali sing tara wangani adumakku masi ki oina di tha khundi gada bani gada bani Hulli basen kam singha si 3 star hotel da laiba, chaba, tumba, visa ki fi airport transfer, sightseeing doina mak ki aura bani Lagli ba April tara manga da ki registration house da bani aduga send khai na Bentara mga dagi hausa na gani. Kudog chaba si mga hindi no. He na ko pamaro gita mag masimak contact to be you. Seven Sisters Holiday, MG Avenue, Infal, Manipur. Contact number 0385-244-3977. Natura gana 244-3979. Mobile number 970-61. Two three four zero one Natraga eight seven two zero nine zero five three three seven Natragana eight four one four eight zero eight zero eight zero Diabetes Kaloin in the Hingliba Sink, Tamagi Manunda, control to Bangamle, Uria, Kretina and Wangosu, Tamagi Manunda, Hantabangamle, Kong Hambanungai Tabasu, Numit Manganigi Manunda, Fahan Bangamle, Pile Cyberdi, Nusang Nabasu, Chama de Chama, Fahan Bangamle, Cholesterol Wangba, Numit Kunida, Normal Oibangamle, 
BP Wang Basu, Tamagi Manunga, normal Oibangam lay, fatty liver Oibasu, Tamagi Manunga, Fagat Hanbangam lay, Pumna Mug, natural Oiba Hida, Makana, lying Japani, Hakjang the Soka the Bat side effect, Amatalite, Makatani Hidak Jabagi Matosu Taroi, Hena Kupaparogi the Mug, Nasi Mak Langson Biru, Diabetes Hospital, Soibam Lakei, Ayampali Road, opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital, Porompat, in Fall East, near Punjab National Bank. Planning to study outside Manipur? Are you confused about your college or university selection after 12? Manipur Edu Online provides assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuredu.online or you can also call us at 7628960947. Providing 24 7 heart attack center in Manipur. Don't delay, call immediately if you are having symptoms of heart attack like sudden onset chest pain, breathlessness, pain in left arm, heaviness in chest, nausea, vomiting. Hurry, consult our internationally renowned UK trained heart specialist, Dr. L. Shyam Kishore, chief cardiologist. Sky Hospital, having more than 30 years of experience. Also available services like device closure of hole in the heart, surgical closure of hole in the heart, coronary angioplasty and stents, heart valve surgery and CAPG pacemaker, ICD combo implant. For more details, please contact Reception Sky Hospital. Sri Sri Gaurachandra Gicharanda, Purva Shramda, I quick irak that in Biramba Sri Huidrom, Manau Yaima Singh Hana, I quick quipe from the Makput Haduk Lemnaga, how keep a tang Tarani toy tamari, English singing a kungamari, Sajibugi Marini Panba Irainumita, Sri Gurugi Kripa, the Giveas Olaga, Noroton Das Hibanam Fangzadana, Brindavan Prapti Oikre, Lak Libatang Kungamanga, Tamari, English singing a kungamari, Sajibugi Tarani to Inipanba Sogons and Numita, Shratta Din Tokle, Numit Asa. Lake Dubaki Atma Santi Gidamak Namzaba was to Karadang, Hari Sankitan Galunina, Sri Gaura Chandragi Charanda Kachakadori, Upalakshia Seda Brahman Vaisnop, Ahelaman Amadi Maruk Mapang Kwai Kibikna, Matam Chana Ling Biraktuna, Hari Nam Shraban Tovidanaba, Ilitiviki Tonga Paus in Jerry. Thorum Pareng, Vek Katpa, Ayukpung, Tarit Makai, Sorat Hoba, Ayukpung Mapan. Paus in Jerry Basing, Sri Mati, Huidrom Ongbi, Buzari Devi, Luinavi. Sri Huidrom Nabachandra Singh Machanupa, Sri Huidrom Sarat Singh Machanupa, Sri Huidrom Azit Singha Machanupa, Sri Huidrom Inauton Singh Machanupa. Ishok Maninglikai. For the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Serin Educational Foundation Nagamapal Soram Lerak Jahit Tara Nithoi Hena Academic Education the Experience Lerak Laba Institution Asina Angang Singbu Lairik Tanatana Overall Development to Focus Tauduna Matik Chaba Ozakayana Foundation Level Digi Ningti Namakong Sombiri Regular Test Tauduna Angang Singi Week Point Kaya Kandokli Ven Service Amadi Boarding Kudong Chaba Su Tamjari Nasimak Leng Singbirak Tuna Session English Singaniga Kungamari Kungamanga Class 11 Namasung Class 12 Science Foundation course enroll to view class 1 to class 10 for the CBSE and the Boston Foundation course ki class so hozare. Hen akupamaro gi damak 8837444089 the contact to view Nagamapal Soram Lerak. Welcome back. Six rooms of a two-story child collapsed in Maharashtra's Thani city on Saturday morning and no one was hurt in the incident, an official said. The room of a child in the Dongripada area of Godbandar Road collapsed around 10 a.m., said Yasin Tapri, chief of the disaster management sale. Four rooms on the first floor of the structure, which 
had developed cracks collapsed onto rooms on the ground floor, he said. While two of the rooms were unoccupied, the occupants of the other room had rushed out before the structure crumbled down, the official said. The child had ten rooms, with five rooms on the ground and five on the first floor, he said, adding that the remaining four rooms were in dangerous condition after the collapse. Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud highlighted India's involved legal landscape during a conference on India's progressive path in the administration of the criminal justice system held in Delhi. He expressed optimism about the recent enactment of three new criminal laws by Parliament. Bharatiya Naya Sanhita, Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksa Sanhita and the Bharatiya Saksha Adhyam. In his address, CJI Chandrasu stated, I think that the enacted of three new criminal laws by the parliament is a clear indicator that India is changing. India is on a move and we do need now legal instruments to deal with the current challenges that we envisage for the future of our society. These new laws represent a significant step towards modernizing and strengthening India's criminal justice system. They are designed to address contemporary challenges and ensure the protection of citizens' rights and security. The Bharatian Niyai Sanita focuses on enhancing legal procedures and mechanisms for fair and efficient trials. The Bharatian Nagrik Suraksa Sanhita aims to bolster citizen safety and security measures, while the Bharatiya Saksha Adiniyam is geared towards promoting education and awareness about legal rights and responsibilities. The CJI for the seat, India is set for significant overhaul of the criminal justice system with new enacted laws. Arm um, Atmi Party leader Manish Sisodia has withdrawn his plea seeking interim bail from Delhi's Rao's Avenue Court. This move comes as Sisodia sought interim bill specifically for his ongoing election campaign activities. The Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, has taken a firm stance against Sisodia's regular bail application, opposing it on grounds that he has been leveled as the mastermind in the case under investigation. The case pertains to matters related to the Delhi excise policy with legal proceedings involving both the CBI and the Enforcement Directorate ED. Sisodia's bail pleas, both interim and regular, have been under scrutiny in light of these ongoing investigations. The recent development in court sees Mane Sisodia opting to withdraw his plea for interim bail, presumably to focus on his electoral commitments. However, the CBI's opposition to his regular bail application underscore the legal complexity surrounding the case. The Rouse Avenue Court has now reserved its order regarding the bail plea of Mani Sisodia, settled to deliver its decision on April 30. Several shops were destroyed in a significant fire in Haldia, West Bengal on Saturday, April 20. The fire started in a supermarket area and the cause remains unknown. Firefighters are currently working to extinguish the blaze after receiving information about the incident. There have been no reported casualties or injuries. In a separate incident, a large fire broke out in Rangmahal and Sangamvatika in Gwalia, Madhya Pradesh on Friday. Fire crews rushed to the scene and are trying to control the fire. Meanwhile, a fire broke out at Phoenix Mall in the Vimanagar area of Pune on Friday afternoon. Six fire engines were dispatched to scene following an emergency call at around 3.30 p.m. The source of the fire and the extent of the damage are yet to be determined as rescue operations continue. Upon improvement in the law and other situation in the Bali districts, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West and Thobal districts. In Kakching district, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. 
However, in Bishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Most of the soaps and markets were open. Several people purchased their essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LATV News Channel, contact to the email address in for or 940 and subscribe to LATV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. Before we close, let's see the top news headlines once again. Three involved in firing incident near a polling boot arrested. Congress candidate Bimola Kojan condemns ethics against party polling agents, calls it unfortunate. Total voter turnout in Kangpok be expected to fall below 30% due to empty polling stations. And Karfi Relax and Imphal East, Waste and Thobal District till 10 p.m., Fukakching District till 8 p.m., Bishnupur District till 5 p.m. today. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching Elite TV English News. And for more of this, please do join us in 6 p.m. News Bulletin. Have a good day.